This is a quick getting started tutorial on CocoaDB, the open source framework for verifying VHDL and Verilog in Python. All the links shown in this video are in the description below. So in a CocoaDB project, there are three main components you'll need. You'll need a device under test, an HDL, we'll be using Verilog. You'll need a CocoaDB test bench written in Python, and you'll need a make file to run your CocoaDB test bench. So let's get started writing a device under test in Verilog. We'll be writing a simple module called device under test. Dot. It'll take a clock, a reset, and I'll output a 4-bit count. We'll define those IOs. And we'll define a register to hold the 3-bit count. At every pile's edge clock, We will either increment the count, or if we're in reset, we will simply set the count to zero. Then all we need to do is to assign our output to the count. And we'll need some extra logic here um, to dump the value change dump file. This will be used for um, GTK Wave, our waveform viewer. So we're going to define the file. We're going to dump the values to. And we're going to say dump the variables, everything in the module. So let's just make sure that compiles real quick. With iVerilog, the simulator we'll be using. There's a syntax error, let's clean that up real quick. Ah, it compiles. CocoTB test bench will import the CocoTB framework. From CocoTB.clock, we will import the clock. And from CocoTB.triggers, we will import the rising edge. To write a CocoTB test bench, all you do is use the decorator CocoTB.test and then write a function uh, with some test name. So we're just going to call that basic test. And now we'll write our logic. So the first thing we need to do is generate a clock. We'll do that with the following syntax. Next thing we want to do is reset the dot. With this notation, so our dot holds the signal value, the signal name, so we have a reset signal, and then you access its value with dot value. The next thing we want to do is hold reset for two clocks. And we'll use a simple for loop for that. We will array, await each rising edge, and then we'll set the reset signal back to zero. Then we're going to run for 50 nanoseconds with an assertion. So for count in range, each rising edge. We're going to get the output from our dot. So we have a output signal called count and we're just going to access that as we set the inputs with dot value notation. And then we're going to have predicted value equals count modulo 16. So since it's a 4-bit signal it's going to count to 16 and roll over. 
and then we want to write an assertion that checks that that's true. So check that our output of our dot equals the predicted value. If not, error. And that's our CocoaDB test bench. Last part is writing our make file. You can actually find that in the CocoaDB documentation. It's standard. Copy and paste from there. Changing what we need to change. So we're going to be using Icarus. We're going to be using bear log. Our dot is called dot 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 v. Our top level is called dot. So that's the module name. And then our module here is the test bench name of the Python CocoaDB test bench. So this is called test bench here. So that's what we call this module. And if that's all right, all you've got to do is simply run make. So I'm in the directory here with those three files. If I run make, it'll go out and run the CocoaDB test bench and report pass. Now, if your assertion was checking the wrong thing, your assertion was wrong for some reason. So let's say the predicted value should be one every time. If we reran the CocoaDB test bench, it would print fail. And so that is a super quick tutorial on CocoaDB. Um, thank you for watching.